And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. It's Keith once again, and today we got a bit more information on Radeon RX Vega. Yes, the Radeon Vega Frontier Edition launched the other day with a little bit of a thud, uh, performing a bit lower than what people were hoping to see, bringing it somewhere in between the 1070 and 1080 in levels of performance, but this is a more conservatively clocked uh, Founders Edition rather than the RX Vega, which will be targeted toward gamers. Now, what we did see thanks to this leak or rather posting over on 3D Mark 11 results shows what could be the AMD Radeon RX Vega specifications, showing 1630 megahertz on the GPU clock speed, which of course will be the top end turbo or boost speed that we could see there. So 1.63 gigahertz on that one and eight gigabytes of HBM2 at clocked at 945 megahertz, bringing in about 484 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. But with that out of the way, how do the results fall? Where does Radeon RX Vega, according to 3D Mark 11, show its performance? Seeing that we don't have the card, we can't really see if this is a steady pushed to 1630 or if there's some fluctuations going on and this is what the resulting score is, but the score isn't that bad. It's actually quite good. According to the data from 3D Mark 11 database, it shows the Radeon RX Vega in between a GTX 1080 and 1080 Ti in performance. GTX 1080, according to here, has a graphics score of 27618. RX Vega is coming in at 21873, while an NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti is well ahead of it at 38389, which I really don't see Vega pulling ahead of a 1080 Ti. That's quite a monster of a card. However, we did run some of our own testing using uh, our test bench here using the Ryzen 5 1600X DDR4 3200MHz RAM with a 1080 Founders Edition and 1080 or 1070 Founders Edition rather at stock and overclock. Stock gets, showed our GTX 1080 coming in at 28,572 which was slightly ahead of the reference number from 3D Mark 11, but an overclock running at 1930MHz on the core with an additional 500MHz on the RAM pulled that graphic score up to 30,535, which is just behind the RX Vega, which is about where an aftermarket 1080 would land. The 1070 is quite a bit behind there, even though our numbers actually at stock were slightly lower than 3D Mark's uh, database. Once overclocked, we saw 25,349, which was closer to the uh, GTX 1080 stock speeds. So it'll be interesting to see where RX Vega actually lands once it hits the streets. But we just wanted to bring you guys what information we had so far, and uh, I'd love to hear your comments on it, what you think uh, this thing's going to perform like once it hits the market, as well as do you think it's going to perform ahead of the 1080 or behind the 1080. It's still a bit early. We're seeing numbers kind of all over the place. We do know where Radeon Vega Frontier Edition lands, but we don't yet know where the RX Vega is going to land. So we'll have more information on that for sure here in the coming weeks once uh, SIGGRAPH 2017 happens. But until then, keep it locked here at WCCF Tech TV for more information as we get it. And thank you for watching. This has been Keith, and we'll catch you in the next one.